Hi, it's Matt McLeod with Matt McLeod Fine Art here in beautiful downtown Little Rock. Uh, and I'm doing some painting today. Uh, let me show you what I've worked on. Um, it's a scene of uh, downtown Little Rock. And what I was doing is really establishing my uh, values from darkest, midtone, and light. And once I've got all that established, uh, I really feel like I've got a nice, strong, contrasting value system for my composition. And now that it's dry, what I'm going to do is tint the canvas. So, I use a, uh, an acrylic uh, paint that is transparent to not lose the values that I set up, and I just wash it on. So here we go. You want to make sure and use a transparent color to wash in your canvases because you don't want to lose the, the beautiful three value systems that you established with the uh, composition. So what I do is I put a transparent uh, acrylic on there and I just spread it out while it's, uh, while it's still wet. I like the acrylic as an underpainting wash be, uh, because it's going to be dry in just a few minutes and I can go over it with additional acrylic or I can use oil on top of it once it's dry. So I just spread it around real well. You don't have to worry too much about your brush strokes. I just want to get some coverage down. But I like to use the tint wash because I'm using a nice warm earth red here because um, that earth red is going to unify the entire canvas with a nice warm undertone. I can paint on top of it in just a few minutes. And uh, I might leave some of the areas where, where you'll see that red to help with my line work and my shaping. So if you ever get tired of your uh, white canvas, try a little color tint to, uh, to brighten it up and, and have fun painting.